Okay, so welcome back, Virgos. Hope you all doing good. Remember, Virgos, I'm reading for you, but I can put it up on the cross, which are a third party, or just somebody surrounding your energy. Okay, so you can flip the rules. Let's just see what's going on with Virgo. One more shuffle. What does Virgo need to know? Minera. What does Virgo need to know? What else? So, not today. Somebody's sending boundaries here. Somebody's hurt. Somebody's sending boundaries. Somebody doesn't want to hear from somebody. You might have blocked somebody. You're not dealing with somebody. You're still angry at somebody here. The dragonfly came out here. So, it's kind of like finding out things and changing things in your energy. It's like you're heating. For some reason, Virgo's you're heating. You know, I, I feel like you found out something here you're trying to adapt to these changes, but it's going to bring you some comfort and some healing because, you know, things when they come out, yes, we get hurt, but there has to be some way of healing. And I feel like you put boundaries on somebody here. I feel like you had, I feel like, you know, whatever boundaries you put on somebody here, you're avoiding somebody's um either uh, calls or texts, whatever it is. You don't want to speak to somebody here. Or somebody don't want to speak to somebody here. It's like, you're not dealing with somebody here. Let me see what fell on the floor. Hold on. So, I hate nothing about you. Came out of reverse on the floor, but I'll put it back in the deck. Let me see. What is Virgo need to know? Somebody might just have some secret hatred for somebody here. And hate is a big word. Keeping your own secret bank failure and falling apart into pieces somebody's keeping somebody a secret here and this might be an energy where you found out and it's like you know things fell apart and it's like you're not having with this person bank failure so somebody here you know get your finances straight make sure you know that you're doing things right in your bank situations make sure that nobody has if you separated from somebody and they know your bank account so they know anything you know just to make sure they don't go into your bank. But there could be something here with um, money situations here for you right now. Getting a room, hotel, motel, suite, what the fuck, sex shop. Yeah, somebody's keeping somebody a secret here. Somebody's watching this and they like to see go, shit go down. You got an obvious person here. Hmm... Somebody enjoys the gossip here because they're envious of you. So somebody here is secretly going to hotels. It could be a room. It could be their house. It could be anything. But they're having pleasure here. And it could be somebody at work. It could be somebody at work. And they're acting very shady towards your way. Because probably you're picking up on it. Your intuition is picking up on it. But this is something that I'm picking up from somebody here. Some relationship here is fading here. What the fuck? You might just have to fight somebody here in court here. For some of y'all. Or you might just have to like have a loan or something here. Because your money is, is slow right now for some reason. Wow, what the fuck? Let me see, Virgo. What the hell's going on here? So the death card fell to the floor. I'm going to put it back in the deck. But it's like transforming, changes, ending things, and starting new. So you might just end something with somebody here and you're just starting new. These, these, these cards are all over the place. Yeah, I'm going to leave them like that. It doesn't matter. When you shuffle, whatever comes out, comes out. Let me see. Um, Give me um Virgo's energy right now. The King of Swords. Somebody's emotionally detached here. Somebody doesn't work with their emotions. Somebody here tries to be an authority figure. It's a very serious person, but they're also strict. They're like, what the fuck? They're emotionally detached. It's like, they're more logical the way that they work than anything. And somebody's getting disturbed by this. This is too much already is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. Minera. What the fuck? You got the Knight of Pentacles. So you're, you're, you know, you're very independent. You're doing yourself right now, Virgos. You know, you could have, um, 
some achievements coming in because of your hard work. There is the Page of Cups here. So there is somebody here that, you know, is like their head in the, is in the fucking clouds. It's like they're a dreamer. You know, it's like they're very naive and they could be taking... Listen... Virgos, you're very smart, and you're one of my favorite signs. I've never had a problem with a Virgo, but don't be naive. Don't be naive. Because some people could be naive and get taken granted for it, and I feel like somebody has been taking um, you for granted for being naive. You know, don't always play with your inner child. I feel like you're, you're for some of you Virgos that I'm picking up right now, it's like you're always, you know, fun. You're going out. Your inner child is always there. And that's why you're not seeing things. Or this this person that's not seeing things. But I'm picking up your energy. Like, be careful who you deal with because it's a person that's going to come in and take you for granted. You know, you're very independent. You like to achieve success. You like to put your effort into things. But the Nine of Wands is here. So it, something is telling me that is like somebody here is fatigued out. It's, it's close to... My God. You got to bring more balance to a situation here because somebody here either fucked with you in some type of business or fucked with you, period. And it's like you are closed off right now to succeed in any type of way. It might just be with this person. Let me see. There's resilience here. Let me see. The tower. Yeah, it's, it's just something you're going through here. Things are crumbling down. This is why things are falling apart here into pieces. A lot of uh, destruction, chaos, problems. Somebody's bringing you a lot of problems here and with your money. So be careful that you don't know somebody's going into your bank and taking your money. Or they are taking your money and they're saying they're going to use it for this, for that. And they're using it for somebody else. And might just fuck you up with your finances here. This person, you know, I feel like you're emotionally attached right now. I feel like you don't want to talk to somebody right now. Or you just, you're just right now cut off to everybody here. I feel like you've been trying to like, you know, have some type of success. But it's kind of like there's something that caused a tower here. Or something that changed around you that caused some destruction. And this has you in an energy of like, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm going to stop. That's going to change. That's just your ego speaking for you. Okay? Don't let your ego get in the way. That's just your ego speaking. Okay? Ignore your ego and follow your intuition. Four of Pentacles. Somebody's very possessive here with their money. You got to set boundaries here. They're hoarding. You know, it's like this is person, the Four of Pentacles. I cannot make shit up. Somebody here is fucking with your finances here. It doesn't have to be in the bank. It could be in your house. It could be your money. It could be your purse. It could be your wallet. It could just be somebody that fucked you over or is trying to, you know, go over to you and make more money than you, whatever it is. It could be in the job place. It could be somebody spending more money. It could be just somebody that's hoarding your fucking money. You know, for the Four of Pentacles is always about somebody being very stingy here. You dealing with somebody that's very insecure. They're stingy as fuck. You know, you know, they don't have any type of boundaries. They don't have a t any type of limits. And this has you in an energy where you don't want to talk to somebody. It's like you're done with it. And they're keeping you a secret at the same time. So it's like everything's falling into a, a, a place where you don't want it to fall it in. But it's like, be careful because there's going to be changes here with the tower here. And this might not even happen right now, but it could happen in the future. But this is the, the, the Virgos that I'm picking up right now. There's a lot of chaos here. New love is coming in here. Emotional awakening and intu intuitively being awakened and spiritually. So the Ace of Cups, you know, is a lot of like crying, a lot of like worrying, a lot of emotions. So you might be going through these feelings of emotions that is waking up your intuition, your intuition and your spirituality to see things a different way. And that's what you need to do is see things the way that it is, not the way that your ego wants it. Because I'm picking up that a lot of you, you know, Virgos, and I love you, Virgos. I swear to God, I love you guys. You know, you're seeing things the way that you want to see them and not for what they are. And this is because you're so nice. You're so giving. You're so, you know, you want everybody to be right. You want to help everybody. No, you cannot help everybody. If somebody's fucking you over. Fuck them. You know, Virgos can get crazy as fuck. Don't get me wrong. 
but there's going to be a change here. You're trying to heal from something here. And you just might be in an energy right now where this person is bothering you. And this is this is the energy you're giving them. Let me see. What is here for Virgo for the overall energy? Okay. The lovers and, and the strength card. So, yeah, you're having strength here. Or you're putting your inner strength here in a situation with a person here, which is the lovers card. This could be a twin flame. This could be a person you're dealing with. This could be a friend, a friend with benefits. It could be somebody here that you're very, um, yeah, the tower card is in the bottom of the deck. You know, there's... <laughs> you're trying to work very hard to build your money back up. But there's too much fights here going on. And this might be distracting you at work. This might be causing you a problem at work. You might just go to work and have like a little bit of attitude. And I'm not going to, you know, excuse that. Because sometimes when you're going through problems, they don't understand what the fuck we're going through. We just snap. But there's a lot of fights here. And there's you're trying to build your money. But there's towers getting in your way. There's going to be a sudden change here for you. It could be this person is going to go through it. Oh my God. Hold on. They're going to go through it here. They're going to lose everything they have for making you um, lose what you have. Yeah, this is somebody you're dealing with here right now. So you might have met somebody new or you're going to meet somebody new. And there's a soulmate and a twin flame connection. So at this time, Virgo, this is your card right here. You might just be doing yourself. You might just be, you know, have your options open. You might be single. There's little offers coming in. Be careful with people that don't want to come in and tell you what to do. And all they do is fight. If you just see one thing that's not right, let it go. But there's somebody here that's coming your way that while you're doing yourself and while you're, you know, stabilizing yourself, they're going to come in. This could be something that is going to brew up right now or is brewing up right now. Let me see what's going on here for Virgo. There's a soulmate here and there's a twin flame here. This might be a decision you have to make. and You have to put your inner power here to make a decision here between two people or somebody's trying to make a decision between two, two people here. Yeah. Somebody's, somebody's going to walk away here and change everything around. It's like, whatever it is, you're bringing new beginnings to your life here. You got the King of Pentacles here. You got the Four of Wands, which is a commitment. And you got the, the Empress here. So this is Libra and Taurus energy. You know, this is... um. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. And this is, um, my God. Mercury retrograde is coming and I'm getting stuck everywhere. Um, I don't know why I just heard Aquarius. You might be dealing with Aquarius. But this is, um, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So I see you stable. I feel like there's a mother here. Oh, my God. There's a mother here. Or a woman figure here that you grew up with. Or somebody here that likes to tell you what to do. Or they always tell you what to do. Or walk away from this person. They know good for you when they were for you. But it wasn't for them. But I feel like you're going to be doing good here, um, Virgo. You're changing things around. You're shredding people that you don't want in your energy. And this could be people that, this could be a person you're involved with. This could be a soul connection. This could be a twin flame. This could be somebody you're dealing with. You're just walking away. But I feel like for some of you, you're just walking away and making changes in your life here. Let me see. There is a soul connection here brewing up. You might have met somebody already. Somebody might be falling in love and you don't even know it. You might just be keeping this a secret because of haters and envious people. And you don't want this to fall apart because people envy whatever the fuck you're doing here. But somebody is keeping somebody a secret here. We'll find out. Let's just see. What's here for Virgo? The Empress and the Ace of Cups in the fence. So there is like a bit of emotions here. You might just be trying to figure out yourself right now what you're going to do if you're going to step into this commitment here. With well, this King of Pentacles that just came back out. You know, you're trying to balance out your life. You 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 know, you're, you're you're balancing out your life, Virgo, is what I'm seeing here. You're trying to bring balance into your life. You're trying to bring a lot of, like, temperance into your life. And this could be somebody here, a King of Pentacles, that you're going to meet. That's going to, you know, stabilize it with you because the cards came right back and I shuffled. Yeah, there's a love offer coming in here. 
you know, you're embodying that empress right now. You might get pregnant, so be careful that you don't get pregnant. Or if somebody's pregnant, congratulations. You might just get pregnant real... I can't. I just motherfucking can't. Like, I can't make shit up. Look at this. Shuffling the cards. The only one that stayed out was the Ace of Wands. And that represents the man's thing. thing. You feel me? So be careful don't get pregnant. Or be careful you don't get somebody pregnant. Okay? Because there's a lot of sexual shit going on here. Yeah, listen. Just, it could happen, but... That was just confirmation that somebody might get pregnant when you don't want to get pregnant. Or you might get somebody pregnant or somebody got to get pregnant that ain't supposed to be getting pregnant. And because somebody dealing with somebody else and keeping somebody a secret. Uh-uh. Let me see the strength card. Whoa. The strength card. Yeah. Somebody's walking away and leaving somebody out on the cold here. I feel like somebody was fucking around here. Mm -mm. Why is the five of pentacles there with the strength card? I feel like you've had a lot of strength here, Virgo. You put up with too much shit and it's over. Yeah, somebody's fucking with your money. Or you've given too much to somebody that don't deserve it. Let me see. What else here? Yeah, listen. Whatever happened here, you're going to get some support from somebody here. With the Six of Pentacles, you're going to get some support from somebody here. And you're putting your inner strength right now. I feel like you've always had that inner strength that comes out. But there's been a little bit of loss of money, but it's going to come right back to you, okay? There is somebody here that wants to be with you. They see you as an empress. They see you like you're the one. You're the, the sexy one. And I didn't mean it that way. It's like they see you in all type of ways, not only in love, but physically. It's like they adore you. And your money's going to be good here. Your money's going to be good here. But for somebody, it's not going to be. Yeah, this might end up into a commitment. I can't make shit up. You're dealing with somebody here that really loves you here. For some of you, Virgo, somebody's going to come in because they see you sitting in the empress mode. They know that you build. They know you work. They know that you're a hard worker. They know that you take care of your home. They know that you, you're you you're a person that's very giving, very compassionate, very loving. And, you know, your money is good. And it's not that they want to use you for money. They can. It could be somebody here that's using you for money. So be careful here with somebody. But... You know how to bring it to yourself. You don't need nobody. But with the Ten of Cups here, it's like it's going to be a happy ending. What everybody wants here. With somebody that's coming your way. So you might just be dating, going out, you know, figuring out your options. This could be a decision you're making too with the, with the Lover's card here. So let's just see. Why is the Lover's card here? Why is the Lover's card here? For Virgo. Minera. Yeah, temperance. So you're trying to bring some type of balance in a situation here. It could be choice a choice you're making. Yeah, there's somebody here that's causing a lot of towers. And now they're thinking about it because they fucked up. And you're trying to bring balance to yourself. Yeah, let me see the two of cups here. Why is the two of cups here? Somebody's stuck over you here. <laughs> I can't. Somebody's stuck here. Because they're seeing you do yourself. It could be a king of wands. It doesn't have to be yo. But somebody's stuck here. It could be a Libra. It could be, you know, um, a, Cap a Capricorn, a Taurus. It could be uh, a Pisces. I'm not saying too many signs. It could be a Taurus, Libra. It could be a, a Gemini. Let's just see. What else here with this Eight of Cups? Are you walking away from somebody that's stuck as fuck? I can't. Yeah, you you done it over with this person. The Eight of Swords is what I'm trying to clarify here. There's a six of cups in reverse. You no longer want some, something here with the past. The past is over. That's why the death card is here. You're removing your past and starting new. But somebody's stuck over you. They're going through it. They can't even balance themselves. How the fuck are they going to balance out your life? You know, they might be stuck with somebody else. I'm going to clarify that. Let me see. Why is the, the six of cups in reverse here with the eight of cups? I'm laughing because <laughs> it, the people are just ridiculous. I can't. They want to come back and offer you something here and say that they balance out their life and they brought, you know, like some type of balance in their life when they're actually really stuck as fuck. You feel me? Stuck as fuck. That might just be the 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 caption of the fucking reading. I don't know. The six of cups in reverse with the eight of cups. For Virgo, Mineira. Yeah, you're doing yourself. Why this motherfucker right here that you walked away from, you don't want nothing to do with them, okay? 
you know, it's like you're doing yourself. You're smelling good. You're looking good. You know, you're sexy. You're handsome. You're walking it. You're talking it. You're you're doing it. Like, yeah, this motherfucker's right behind you. You can't trust him. He's full of burdens or she's full of board burdens. And the queen of swords is right here like you. Uh-huh. I'm very independent. Don't come my way because I'm going to cutthroat you. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what the fuck I got to tell you. And in a very bad way. Okay? I could be nice. I could be very giving. But don't fuck with me is what I'm getting for you, Virgo, here. Damn. The death card. Why is the death card here? For Virgo Mineta. Damn, Virgo. I can't. Yeah, you're doing yourself, Virgo. You're changing and money's coming in. You're going to be standing in that money chair right there. I don't know why I said money chair, but my answers are giving me like that. It's like you're looking good. You're smelling good. You're doing yourself. You're very independent, okay? When it comes to money, you know how to get it. You know how to build. You know how to work. You know how to stabilize yourself. Nobody needs you. I mean, you, you don't need nobody. They need you. And this is the problem. So you walked away from somebody that fucking needs you. Somebody who did something more than what they did for you. You're like a you're like a, a a person that doesn't stop. You keep going no matter what happens here. Here comes here comes a cup of love. <laughs> I can't. This might be somebody you're dealing with right now, but we're gonna find out. Let me see the Empress card here. I'm just laughing because I'm seeing it in a different way. Readers, we all see it in a different way. Yeah, this motherfucker's stuck. You're sitting here like the Empress. Embodying every queen in the deck, whether you're a male or a female, and they're stuck. This motherfucker stuck as fuck. Stuck as fuck. What do you're doing yourself with your family, your kids, whatever you call family? It doesn't have to be that you're with somebody. You know, there's a lot of juggling energy here, and you know, like I said, you don't want to talk to this person. You're in solitude right now. You don't want to talk to somebody here. No matter what the fuck they say, you ain't talking to this person. Let me see. Why is this Ace of Cups here? For Virgo. I'm just seeing them stuck while you're doing yourself. You know, and you're going to have a lot of money here, Virgo. I'm going to tell you right now. You're going to bloom up. You're going to blow up in money here is what I just heard. The tower. Yeah, they're going through it. It's a painful, I <laughs> can't, yeah. this is painful to them, but at the end of the day, they didn't think, I'm laughing at them, I'm laughing at the person that is doing this, I'm not laughing at the reading, they're now struggling, they're going through it because they fucked you over, they're trying to pretend like they're in this type of little energy of balance, and this, I balance myself out, like, let's do it over, they're stuck like Chuck, and then they're going through it, it's like, this is very emotional here for them. The strength card. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get their confidence back. You know, the queen of wands. This is you right here. Doing yourself confidently. Looking good. Smelling good. And not giving a damn what this person thinks. L I can't. Let me see. Why is the temperance card here with the lover's card? I know I'm, I'm very OCD. And I'm seeing big cards over uh, little cards. And I'm just like, I don't know. I have to get it together next week. Because I'm OCD. This is bothering me. Let me see. The page of wands. So it's it's you know you're you're changing things around you, okay, Virgo. You're changing things and you're planning things for the future. And this could be with somebody that you met. This could be somebody that is helping you. This could be somebody here that is trying to make a choice with you, or somebody that's helping you in some type of way to balance things out. The Ace of Wands is motivation coming in the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups is like my God, the Ten of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune, everything's moving in your favor. The Ten of Pentacles, you're going to be good with money. Damn, Virgo. The Lover's Card in the bottom of the deck. You're meeting somebody here that's going to... If you're going through it with money or you went through it with money with somebody here, you're going to meet somebody that's going to help you. You might just end up in a very committed relationship with somebody here that's very stable with this King of Wands. I mean, with this King of Pentacles. There might be a King of Wands some, somewhere around here. Either a Leo Sagittarius or um, um, Aries trying to involve yourself in the bullshit here, which I'm not seeing it, but that's what, I'm, um, what I just heard. But you might just be... You know, getting in a commitment and it's going to be complete for you. Lasting is you know, the Ten of Pentacles. A very stable, loving family. Stability. Virgos, you're coming into a lot of money here. 
you got a choice to make here between two people here. So you might just have, you know, options coming your way. You might have to change. Your, this is a lucky twist for you with the with the with the wheel of fortune. You got the ace of wands. You're motivated right now. It's like the lovers is coming in. You got a choice to make here. And it might, look, the double card is in the bottom of the deck. Don't let this motherfucker come into your energy. Because somebody's hating really bad here. Let me see. Why is the two of swords here with um, the two of cups here? Why is the two of swords with the two of cups? The high priest. So this is a decision you made here. You're into, you were following your intuition about somebody here. They stuck as fuck. I'm going to name this being they stuck as fuck. And here you got the Queen of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. Yo, I, I, you know what? Like, you need to take a little vacation right here with the Four of Swords. And I feel like you are going to take a vacation. I feel like you're going to have that abundance and that stability and that money coming in and that happiness and that person that you want. There's a soulmate connection brewing up here. They might have their walls up because they've gone through a lot. So don't judge a person when you meet them. It, you know, I feel like this is a person that's going to come in and have a lot of, like, you know, trauma or things they've gone through, or they just went through a breakup, or something's happening, and you could understand each other, you feel me? But don't judge a person off rip, because if somebody's stuck here, which is another energy that I'm picking up here, you know, it could be something that you need to follow your intuition, because this person's been through a lot, and you might be meeting somebody like this, and this sometimes makes a perfect couple. But you're sitting here like the Queen of Pentacles... And the four swords. So get some rest. Have a vacation. You know, you're going to have some abundance that's going to make you very, very rich here. I don't know who got this. I think it was Capricorn. I don't remember. But somebody got this. You're going to be very rich here. I'm going to tell you right now. While this person is going to be begging for money. They're going to be begging for money. And begging to the day they live that they fucked with you. Yeah, you're going to be very rich here, Virgo. Man, I like this. Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here, Mineta, with the Empress card? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> the Star card in reverse. I'm laughing because people are so stupid. Why can't those people get along? <laughs> I swear to God. The death card. Like, you're making changes and this person stays stuck. Whatever wish fulfillment they got going on or whatever they want, whatever they're wishing for, it's not going to happen. You know why? Because they fucked an empress over. And it doesn't mean that is a Taurus or a Libra. I'm a Libra. It doesn't mean you're just standing in the empress mode and you gave too much to this person. Too much love. Too much of yourself. Too much time. You secured this person and didn't appreciate it. Now they're stuck emotionally. They can't get out of it. And whatever Whatever wish fulfillment is coming to them that they want, that's not that not that it's coming to them. Whatever wish fulfillment they want, everything guides, spiritual guides, ancestors is stopping this shit, and they're gonna go through it. They might be going through it right now. While you're gonna be sitting here like an empress, I can't. <laughs> like what the fuck? I'm laughing because you know they're trying to keep secrets here and doing some crazy shit, and they got busted at it, and they might just have not got busted yet. But they are going to get busted doing something crazy here. Let me see. Why is this keeping a secret here? Because this is... I don't know. I like this reading. Why is this keeping a secret here for Virgo? King of Swords. So, yeah. They, they don't have emotions here. They're dealing with somebody else here. The Five of Pentacles in the bottom of the deck. That's going to leave them out in the cold. <laughs> They're dealing with somebody here that... I feel like they don't have emotions. They're just dealing with somebody just to deal with them. It's like a person that goes in, cheats, and comes right back out and co comes home. You feel me? Or comes back to the person. But it's like, they're going to have a hard misfortune. They're going to lose a lot for doing this here. With the five of swords here. They're a person that, ex that likes problems. This person is going to fuck them over in some type of way here. The eight of swords in reverse here. <laughs> Yeah, it's like, Virgo, I see you doing good, and I see whoever here fucked you over is going to be doing bad. You're going to meet somebody here. You know, the Spirit is saying, give people chances. Don't pick and choose, is what Spirit just said. And I don't know why they said that. Maybe you don't like 
a certain way of somebody. You like the way they speak, they talk, whatever it is. Like, when I'm in the street, I'm ghetto as fuck. You feel me? Like, if you walk to, in the streets with me, that's it. I'm ghetto as fuck. And I try to cover it a little bit in my readings, but sometimes it comes out. But I'm not ghetto to a point where I'm going to get into fights in front of you. It's just that slang I got for many years sometimes pops out. You feel me? So, don't judge a person by the way they talk, they look, they walk. You know, whatever it is. If they're not your type, don't judge them, man. Give people chances because sometimes you meet a person that is like, uh-uh. Mm -mm. And that's your person. You fall madly in love with somebody with somebody like that. I don't know why Spirit is saying that, but somebody needs to hear that. This person is going to go through major towers and they're going through a lot of pain right now. Achievement. I'm telling you. There's a lot of money coming in here. Win the award, accolade, or contract. So there might be contracts you need to sign here. There might be a business deal that you're going to close out here. There might be a business deal that you want, but it's going to be achievable. Achievable. Really? <laughs> this is going to be an achievement for you. So win that award. Or you're going to win an award. Or you're going to win some recognition. You're going to get some recognition for something here. Give me one more here for Virgo. The star. I can say a damn thing. Okay, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serenity. So, you know, you need to do a lot of, like, um, gla I was going to say glazing to the stars. I don't know why I said that. Maybe spirit wants you to go outside and glazing to the stars. You might be a star seed. You might enjoy the stars. You might think you're a star seed. Look it up. Maybe it just resonates to you. I don't know. But pick up the energy of... The stars go outside at night, sit down, just stare at the sky or just be outside and something's going to show you something. Maybe a shooting star, you're going to see a movie, saw a shooting star, but it's going to give you some type of like, um, it's going to bring you good luck. Okay. The stars always bring good luck. Okay. You might be a star seed. Okay. So I love you. I wish you the best of luck and I'll see you later, my loves.